So I have my Kawasaki S2 engine case set up here with the truing jig on the bed of the Bridgeport Mill. Um, I got the homemade fly cutter set up with a test indicator in it and some uh, parallels here. And I could explain now finally why we're doing this. So I made a mandrel here on the lathe this shaft here going through the engine cases that's exactly the size of the crankshaft journals and I have the case torqued down on this mandrel and I have this mandrel set up uh, dead flat with the travel of the mill and I have the fly cutter trammed in a circle also dead flat to the mandrel. I have now um, tried to set up the case in this dimension to flatten it out on these test blocks and you can see if I move the fly cutter around where the dial indicator hits this, I get a reading of pretty much zero all the way across that block, indicating that I have this side of the case trimmed flat. Now no matter what I do, if you come over here and look at this side of the case, you can see it has three thousands. You can see that dial indicator moving. I have three thousand um, out of flat on this side. So that indicates twist in the case. And I know that's twist in the case or unevenness in the top deck because I have my whole jig set up dead flat. And that is exactly why we're doing this. Um, so the next step will be to remove this dial indicator and uh, put in a single point cutter and then we'll go ahead and make a pass and uh, flatten this engine case.